Welcome to the Carveright Racing System Dragster Series. This system will enable carving of two-sided dragster blanks into detailed car designs. Direct import of STL models enables compatibility with most 3D modeling packages, making this system easily integrated into any classroom setting. This video will give a step-by-step -step explanation of how to operate the system. The manual on this disc will give you further detailed instruction of the system's operation. Please take the time to read and understand all materials to get the most out of your system. System Contents The Dragster series should have all of the following. The Carveright Educational Program Disc, containing manual, instructions, and this video. The Dragster Wood Blank Nose Clamp. The Dragster Wood Blank Rear Alignment Pin. A 3 16 inch hex allen wrench and a 4 mm hex allen wrench. A 1 8 inch straight carving bit. Note this bit has a ball nose unlike the 1 8 inch straight cutting bit you already have with your Carveright system. And the assembled jig frame. The jig frame has wood rails along the bottom for tracking, indicator stickers on the rails, and a recessed black painted area on the left side. Squaring the machine. The machine only needs to be squared the first time the jig is used in a machine. Make sure that the jig is empty and that the two rail clamps are loose and free to move. Use the 4 mm Allen wrench to loosen the bolts holding the clamps. Crank the head of the machine up to within 1 inch from the top of the four vertical posts. Insert the empty jig into the machine with the wood runners down. Position the rig roughly in the center of the machine, sliding it tightly up against the squaring plate. Crank the head down until the compression rollers on the underside of the head barely touch the jig rails. The jig needs to be free enough to be easily moved by hand in and out of the machine. Move the sliding plate firmly up against the right side of the jig. Move the Z-Truck to its full up position and insert the 1 8 inch carving bit into the quick change chuck. Move the Y-Truck to the left until the bit is directly above the left side jig rail. Rotate the rail clamp out so it is perpendicular to the rail. Move the Z-Truck down and gently pull the jig forward until the bit touches the back wall of the V-slot. Once the jig has been positioned so that the bit is touching the left rail reference surface, lift the Z-Truck to clear the jig and move the Y-Truck all the way to the right side of the jig so that the bit is centered over the right jig rail. Rotate the rail clamp out so it is perpendicular to the rail. Slowly move the Z-Truck down until the tip touches the jig rail. If the machine were perfectly square, the bit would slide right down the back wall of the right rail, like on the left side. If the bit does not align precisely with the reference surface, the machine's squaring plate will need to be adjusted. If it turns out the squaring plate needs to be adjusted, go ahead and crank the head of the machine up to within one inch from the top of the four vertical posts. Gently remove the jig. With a short Phillips screwdriver, loosen, but do not remove, the front squaring plate screw. This will allow the squaring plate to be rotated. Depending on the determination of the offset, the adjustment pin will be rotated in either a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. If the bit is offset to the front, turn the adjustment pin clockwise no more than two indicator marks. 
If the offset is behind, turn the adjustment pin counterclockwise, no more than two indicator marks. Make sure to tighten the front squaring plate screw after adjustments are made. Also, reinsert the jig to verify the plate is now square. Repeat these steps until the jig is square. After precisely squaring the machine to the jig, the system is ready to use. Inserting the dragster wood blank. Properly inserting the triangular wood blank into the jig is critical to the final results. It is important you follow the directions closely. Insert the wood blank into the nose clamp in the orientation shown. Make sure that the front surface of the wood blank is tight against the bottom surface of the pocket in the nose clamp. Tighten the two nose clamp set screws only enough to hold the blank in the clamp with a 3 16th Allen wrench. Insert the rear alignment pin into the 3 4 inch hole in the back of the dragster blank. Push it in all the way and orient it so the corners of the square shaft are pointed to the flats of the wood blank. Place the wood blank with assembled nose clamp and alignment pin into the jig structure with the nose of the blank facing the left side rail. The square bosses on the nose clamp and alignment pin should rest and align with the V-slots in the side rails. Firmly push the nose clamp up against the jig and tighten the rail clamps with a 4mm hex allen wrench. Next, close and tighten the right side. Tighten the set screws again, ensuring the wood block is square to the jig. The jig is now assembled and ready for carving. Setting up a project. Open up the CarveRight Designer software. Select File, Import, CW Racing Dragster. Select the Dragster STL file and select Open. The import dialog will appear with the model displayed. Be sure the import units are the same units the car was designed in and set the export units to what you prefer to work in. Select Next. The model should be facing left, showing the green side of the slice. These tools may be used to reposition if necessary. When finished, select Next. This dialog shows how the car will carve, indicating a stay out zone on the front of the model. You may set or modify your hole placement here. Select Finish. The memory card programmer will need to be plugged in with a memory card inserted to perform this step. This will access the memory card window. Select a quality setting and press Upload. The project will be compiled onto the card ready for carving. Crank the head of the machine up far enough to clear the height of the jig. Insert the jig into the machine so that the left rail, the one with the black indicator mark, is up against the squaring plate. Move the sliding plate firmly up against the right side of the jig. Crank the head down until the clutch clicks at least five times. Insert the memory card with a dragster project into the CarveRight machine and turn the machine on. Select from the project menu the Dragster Car Project. Press Enter to proceed. The machine will index itself to the jig. Next, you will be prompted to insert the 1 8 inch carving bit. Make sure the bit is loaded correctly, close the cover, and press Enter. The machine will then measure the bit using the touch plate and touch off the left rail of the jig to index its cutting surface. Then it will proceed to carve the left side of the dragster.
Once the left side is completed, the machine will prompt you to flip the car blank. Do not crank the head up. Open the cover and loosen the rail clamps. Carefully, remove the dragster and flip it end over end and reinsert in the jig. Again, firmly push the nose clamp up against the jig and tighten the rail clamps. Close the cover and press enter. The machine will proceed to carve the second side of the car. Once the carving is completed, carefully remove the jig from the machine. Your dragster is completed and ready for finishing. Further information about the Carverite Racing System or any of our other educational products, please visit www.educarve.com or www.carverite.com